When I was first invited to come up with a concept for the interior lobby wall for the Tate Science Building, I thought, you know, there's an opportunity here to really create a transformative environment that's a place that has been changed by the art. So I looked at the way the light would move during the day and decided to create two arcs, one on the outside and one on the inside, both of them with moving squares reflecting light and color and bouncing light around the space, animating it, at the same time as making visible those invisible energies. And this related to what was being studied in the building. There's a conversation with the arc on the inside and the moving bits of glass that reflect and project light bouncing around the room. I approached the scientists who taught there and said, I'd want this work of art to have multiple layers. Can we make the screens outside be binary codes that are puzzles and, and provide this extra level of meaning to the art? And so we had a lot of fun working together. In fact, one of the things that was a big surprise was that the students became so involved as the process and the sharing of the process evolved. There are not only binary codes in the exterior arc, there are binary codes on six panels in the two entryway vestibules. These are made by sandblasting dichroic glass, so they're like veils of color a little mysterious, a little bit ghostly. They really provide the link between the grids on the exterior and the arc and squares on the interior. As if the barrier between the two spaces in fact didn't exist. It was all about this conversation and penetration, interpenetration of light and air so that you're really embraced by the art.